This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today we're going to take a look at my top five mods. Let's get to it. Let me tell you what, there are an absolute ton of amazing mods on the Steam Workshop and narrowing it down to only five was extremely difficult, but I managed to do it. So here goes my top five mods, starting with number five, Shadows of Skelos Extended. Are you the type of person who's a builder on Conan and you just love to build all kinds of things and you just need more stuff? You just need more little bits and bobs and all kinds of little features and different things to put in and around and on and everywhere around your base? Then Shadows of Skelos Extended is the mod for you. It has so much stuff, just all kinds of stuff. Do you need graves and crypts for a creepy setup? You got that. You need fires because you want to make it look like your whole place is burning down? It's got that. Do you want to have a bar and tables and stuff flipped all over the place? It's got that. Books? It's got books. It's got potions. It's got fountains. It's got animals. It's got domestic animals like cats and dogs. It's got all kinds of different magic symbols and, and different uh, magic walls and all kinds of random magic. It's got all kinds of ma magic stuff. Just tons of magic stuff. Statues galore. You'll have more statues than you know what to do with. Food, it's got food. You want to make a kitchen? It's got kitchen. It's got you covered there. Just candles, anything, anything and everything you could ever want as far as like decor stuff. It's probably got it in this mod and I highly advise checking it out if you're a builder and you need more decor stuff. At number four, we have Northern Timber. Are you looking for a new build set and you can't afford one of the DLCs? Then this is the mod for you. Northern Timber is themed towards Conan, so it just fits right in with the map. It looks like it belongs in the Highlands and it has all kinds of new pieces and new features that you don't see in most other build sets. For example, it has and Asian themed set within it that has a modular doors and slide that slide and it's just really neat. It's also extremely high quality. The mod author puts a lot of care and time into this mod and it just shows. So if you're looking for a new set of build pieces, then I highly suggest checking out Northern Timber. You actually get four total sets. Uh, in one mod. And number three, we have Immersive Armor. So number three was a really rough one. It was, I was really torn between Immersive Armor and the Fashionist mod. Both allow for a lot of character customization and just character style in general, but I ended up going with Immersive Armor because it just allows for so much different stuff. So if we take a look here in the spawn panel, you can see a bunch of the stuff. We have Dark Templar stuff, Innkeeper stuff, Jungle stuff, set all of these different just tons of different armor pieces that you can wear and and the mod authors actually started to add in different uh, weapons as well which is pretty cool there's not a whole lot of weapons it mainly features armor and that's what it focuses on but there's a few in there but there's just a ton of different stuff you can see as i scroll through here and it ends right here but if we come over to here this is where it gets really interesting because we have all of these different things here we have the satchels we have the fur cloak, silk cloak, uh, a lantern. Let's go ahead and spawn that in. Crystal choker. All of these different little accent pieces here, like belts, all this different stuff that you see here. Necklaces, rings that you that actually show up on your character's hand. Toe rings that show up on your feet. Like all these different little things here, uh, including saddles, new saddles for your horses, face masks. All this stuff, I'm going to scroll through it here, right up to right here where we get to the, the hip quiver. But what's really cool about this is that it actually shows up on your character in the jewelry menu. As you can see here, I'm wearing a necklace that you can't see right now because it's covered up by the chest piece that I'm wearing and the face mask that you see me wearing here. So if we click these uh, X's here, we can remove it or we can just remove all jewelry. That puts us back here. But let's take this off here and we'll put this necklace on here. And you can see that I'm wearing that necklace there. Put the other one on, swaps them out. You can see 
I have that necklace, the, the pink necklace now, which is pretty cool. We can put the face mask back on and it actually does stuff. You can see that I have the iron lungs ability up there. I can breathe longer underwater with the face mask on because, you know, Conan logic. But uh, just tons of different sets of clothing. Let me see if I got all this force stuff here. There we go. So there is the jungle shaman set. Like, look at that, just looks awesome. But then I can go through and customize that stuff with a belt, for example, which uh, apparently, oh, nope, does it show up on this one? Sometimes it doesn't because it depends on where it's layered at. There you go, you can see it in there. It doesn't work too well with this set, but if I swap over to the pants and top I was wearing before, you can see now I have a belt on there. And it's just all of these little tiny features is the reason that this one beat out the fashionist mod because while they're both like i'm telling you it was a really really hard decision uh they're both way up there i just felt that this one gave a little bit more customization because of the different little things that you can just have for example the face mask or the necklaces the toe rings and it's a little bit of uh extra customization stuff like the light look at that how cool is that I just have like a little light just chilling out there that actually puts off light around me. You can see a slight reflection there. And if we uh, dim the sun a little bit, you can see it a little bit better. Like just really, really, really neat mod. And um, for RP servers, this has got to be like a total go-to. At number two, we have Hosav's custom UI mod. This mod had to be at my number two slot. It's one of my all-time favorite mods, and it is by far, in my opinion, the best UI mod on the workshop. It allows for so much customization and gives you a crazy amount of info, like anything and everything you could want at your fingertips. And if it doesn't have it on there and you want it, just contact Hosev and he'll probably add it on there. Like it is amazing. So let's take a look. I've gone over this in, in detail. I've, I've done a spotlight on this, but here's some of the settings. I'm just going to scroll through them real quick. I will link the video as well. I've done spotlights on all of these. I will link to all of those spotlights down in the description if you want more detail on these mods. But I mean, look, look at all this. Look at how much different customization. You can change the colors of the health bars, stamina bars. You can select your hot bar size. You can show durability percentages. It's got uh, hooks for increased quality of life. It's got hooks for age of calamitous. It's, I mean, just so much stuff. Like look at all this info up here. I got DPS. I've got how, what the temperature is, my weight, my current weight and what my max weight is and how much the percentage of it that I'm using. We have our food and our water. We have exact amounts. Uh, we have, the percentages. Uh, you can see that I've changed the color of this because the default it's white. I could change my health bar if I wanted. It shows pop-up damage for when you hit something. I'll go down here. I think I have somebody down here that we can beat on and I can show you. Yeah, here we go. So if we just swap over to a sword here and I hit her, see that three popping up there? That's how much damage I'm hitting her for. Like just so much stuff, like all the information you want, is especially for testing things, it makes my life a thousand times easier. And I would not be able to do a lot of the testing that I do, well, not as easy as I'm able to do it if it wasn't for this mod. That is why it is definitely my number two pick. And my number one mod is Pippi. Pippi is one of those mods that if you play Conan and it's on PC, this should be the mod. You should just have this. You, even if you don't mod any other part of your game, you should have this mod. If you are running a server, your server should have this mod. If you don't have this mod on your server, I need you to get up out of your chair right now, go to the closest mirror, stare deep into your own eyes, and ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? Because this mod is the be-all, end-all control for Conan Exiles. Like it just gives you 
so much control over so many different things and so many aspects of the game allows you to deeply customize your server with everything from custom kits to custom loot drops on enemies, in-game economy where you can have custom server shops, you can have player run shops, you have a ton of different commands that you can run and you can give access to those commands to specific people using the ranks system. You can set up custom warps. You can take a look at what's going on with the clans. You can take a look at where the clan has built at using the heat map feature. You can put yourself in any clan. You can transfer buildings from one clan to another. Uh, you can remove clan buildings. You can remove the clan as a whole. You can create custom chat channels and, and this whole, I haven't even really gotten into the whole chat thing, but it's super in depth too. As you can see, like all the different stuff you can do with it. I mean, just so much stuff. Discord hooks, so you can have different things happen where you set up a thespian that does something and then tells you if somebody like activated a command or something like that. And don't get me started on the thespian. So if we come over here to the spawn menu and we go to build and we scroll all the way down here, we have the NPC spawner, the loot spawner, the glorb, which is a light source, portals, flaggy, which is custom flags, thespian, which we're going to grab one of those right now. Egress, which is a custom door that can only open with specific circumstances. This I haven't really messed with. Uh, Pippi Jack is a blackjack table. The wallpaper I've used plenty of times. It allows you to show images in game on the wallpaper surface. Uh, we have the Pippi note, which is a little note and the music box. You can also make custom NPCs that work with the NPC spawner, which is freaking amazing. So if we create a new NPC here and we select it over here, we can add modifiers. And if we take a look, you can change its health, its damage, the XP it gives, its scale, and the distance in which it roams. You can also set the chance that that modifier will affect the NPC. Super customizable. You can change the way that they look, all kinds of different cool stuff with that. Now, if we come over here to those items that I spawned in, so we'll grab the thespian here and I already had some wallpaper. We will place down, so this is the wallpaper. You can see it doesn't have any URL right now. It needs one. You just paste the URL to whatever you want to show and then you can change the size of it with these here. You can make it solid. You can prevent climbing. You can allow clan members to mess with it or not. You can disable its interaction and you can give it a name. We click apply. You can see I changed the size of it and there you go. Then we have the Glorbs. I use these all the time for lighting screenshots. They are super handy. So there it is. It looks like that until you look away from it and you can like change the lighting to whatever color you want. So we can do that. We can change the intensity and the radius. We can also make it strobe or pulse, all kinds of different stuff. But there you go. Super pink light. And then when you get away from it, you can't actually see it till you get close to it. And then you can interact with it and pick it up. Then we have the thespians. Thespians are absolutely amazing. So that's what a thespian looks like. We go over to here. We have the thespian configuration and this allows you to do a bunch of different things. Like you can have a regular one. They just stand around there for looks. That's all a regular one does. Then we have the banker, which works with the whole banking system and currency system. Profession merchant. Once again, that's the whole economy thing. Then we have the social merchant, which works with the Mushi editor, which is an in-game scripting language that you can use to do all kinds of really cool stuff from warping a player, messing with a player's stats to um, just giving them items, taking away items, creating special quests. I could go on for days about all of the cool stuff you can do with the Pippi mod and it is absolutely amazing and I highly advise even if you're just playing single player, download it check it out. You may find a lot of fun stuff to play with in there. And if you're running a server, you got to have this. You just got to. There's so much different stuff that you can do with it on your server to increase playability on your server for your server patrons. And that is pretty much it for this one. That is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.